<laughs> well, we have a plan which uh, we uh, use on Monday, which is to do a large orbit correction manoeuvre to take it onto another flyby past the Earth in 1999. Can't you put the space probe down? <laughs> Poor little thing. Well, it seems to be indestructible. It's been past it's... two comets, and I think the comets are probably coming off worse for wear than the spacecraft. <laughs> I think that's absolutely wonderful news. Do you have enough fuel left for this manoeuvre? We have certainly enough fuel to do the, uh, the orbit manoeuvre on Monday, yes. and thereafter we'll have very little fuel afterwards. We have to see what we can do with it. And uh, what do you feel about after, when it comes back to the Earth in 1999 and makes a swing by, are there any plans, informal plans, that you might be able to tell me about now? Yes, we're looking at uh, potential targets, other comets, which would uh, be reachable with the minimum fuel and uh, under the conditions that Giotto have to, has to have in order to meet comets. That's phenomenally ambitious. I really wish you the very best of luck with that plan. And wouldn't it be wonderful if, in the, like in the 19th century, we had a really great comet coming by at the end of this century that would just put itself right on Giotto's path? That's right. Well, let's pray for that one.